Hi all, Bob Lindy from the Tradition School of Herbal Studies. I was sitting here taking a little break from life and wandering through Boyd Hill Nature Park and wandered off the trail and noticed, even though we're in the middle of a drought, this beautiful thing in a low spot. I'm pretty sure that this is groundnut, um, the Apios Americana, that used to be one of our staple starches here in, oh, look at it, it sure is. One of our staple starches here in the Americas um, was exported by the Europeans as they first came here and there. We can see the start of one of these. This used to be a very, very common plant that when the first settlers came here, notice how it has any number of different leaves. It is an odd pinnate leaf shape. And you can have, I believe it's up to five. So they're opposite. So you can see there's a leaf opposite of each other. And it is an odd pinnate. It grows in marshy areas. I've even found it in full sun. And these will get about the size of a golf ball. I'm not going to dig the whole thing up. I don't want to kill this poor little baby. I'm sure it's hanging on um, with the drought. We could find the other end is going up there towards the sunlight. And this soil, you can see, is still really wet, even though we haven't had any rain in a long time. So these will get much larger. Um, they're a wonderful source. They're about 15% protein, almost a complete uh, amino acid profile. Nuttier than a, uh, a potato, um, and they do definitely get larger. Um, this is, I won't say it's endangered, but it has been over harvested and it's forgotten as a, a food crop here in the US. It grows all up and down the eastern seaboard um, and all the way up into Canada. And they do get, uh, they're pretty fast growers. I've grown these in a pot uh, in my pond. They knew they need moist soil. Let's make sure we bury these guys back up. They're also great for, uh, because they're high fiber, they seem to help blood sugar. Um, so they can lower blood glucose levels, uh, the seeds, the flowers, as well as the nut. Um, uh, that high fiber can also help digestive issues and it's antimicrobial and has been used to pack wounds uh, and has some antimicrobial properties, so it can be anti-infectious. And ultimately, it's a kind of a cross, it, think of a, I hope peanuts aren't right, think of an almond crossed with a potato uh, and a very fine grain to the flour. I always find this a huge treat. I first learned to identify this with green dean, if you don't know them. There we go, that's a full, so three to five. Don't confuse this with uh, poison ivy. Pretty easy to tell the difference. Odd pinnate, climbing vine in marshy areas. Apios americana, or Florida, or excuse me, American groundnut. And I understand it's even been propagated a little bit in Europe, um, especially during the potato famine. So well-known crop for native people all over the eastern seaboard. A treat to find. Always look for these guys and propagate them, leave enough for the next guy, um, and consider yourself lucky if you find this American ground nut. Bob Lindy from the Tradition School of Herbal Studies.